this thing does move. That's foot to the floor. What do we have here? The long awaited. This is the new family vehicle. And it's a little bit dirty because we went to the beach yesterday to take the dogs to the beach. Okay, this is a 2024 Kia Telluride. And it's, uh, as you can see, I wanted it to, be, I specifically wanted a black car with black rims to match the rest of the business. Even though this is just a personal vehicle. My wife was shooting for a black car or even like a dark gray or a dark blue. Um, but this one popped up. There's not many of them around here um, in North Jersey, black ones. I, this was the only one that I found when we were looking. This has been here for what, two months now? Yeah. A month and a half. We already have like 3,000 miles on it, which is kind of crazy. Because um, I've been driving it. When I, we go to the auto parts store, I'd rather drive this and plug my phone into the CarPlay because these old trucks don't have that. Um, and this is a very, very comfortable, fun car to drive. Um, so it's a 2024 Kia Telluride. The six cylinder automatic. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's got 20 inch wheels. Yeah. Uh, we'll pop the hood. We'll just do a walk around. Yeah. We had certain things in mind that we were looking for as a upgrade from our Toyota RAV4 um, with our new daughter and with two dogs that are crazy and uh, just family trips and just car rides and stuff to make it more luxurious and relaxing. And yeah, and comfortable for comfortable everybody. Comfortable for the family. Going in and we could take the dogs with us without having to drive separate because uh, we do have a Bernice Mountain Dog that's pushing 132 pounds, and that's light for him. Um, most of those breeds are 140 to 150. Uh, aside from that, let's, let's start on the business end, right? And pop the hood. Yeah. So we we made a, or put out a poll. What what do you guys think Jenna should get as her like her daily driver? Uh, and we had a lot of responses, which was great. And we meant to make this video a couple weeks ago, but here yeah. we stand making it, it now. If it was me. I would have bought a rust-free four-wheel drive Ford Excursion with the 7.3 diesel in it and redone it and lifted it and put cool wheels on it. And it would have been a good family vehicle for very cheap. But uh, yeah, I like this better than that idea. Uh, she did not want the Excursion. She's only five foot five, I think Jenna is, maybe five foot four. So she didn't, she can barely get in the gold truck without having to rip the handle to get herself in because it's so high. Um, she loves the black truck here, the F-350, because it's low to the ground. The dogs love this one better because they can just almost walk right in the back seat. Uh, six cylinder. But, uh, I mean, there's nothing really to it. It's a brand new car. Yeah. Six cylinder with a six, seven, I don't know what speed transmission's in it, but uh, very simple. Very easy to do whatever we'd ever have to do in the future. Uh, oil's right here. It drives me crazy when people put when companies put like the fill here and they put like the oil dipstick back here yeah. or vice versa. Um, I think the six liter is like that, right? The uh, fill is on one side and the dipstick's on the other. I think so, yeah. Or just edges is like it? that. I like it when it's right here because you can add and you can check. Yeah. Um, then of course you have washer fluid. Is this one coolant? You have coolant, coolant. Overflow, right? Fluid. Yeah. Um, straightforward. Very, very straightforward. The battery is right there. And it looks... It's nice. I like it. The blacked out headlights look good. Yeah. It's it looks nice. solid. Uh, the black rims too. We were specifically looking for bucket seats. So we have our car seat set up here. Um, so like the smaller of the two dogs can get in and go down the middle to the back. Or when we have more kids, they can all pile in here and go down the center console and go sit in the back because it seats three in the back. Or the seat actually folds forward on both sides. Okay. Um, this moves, these two move up and the whole back folds down flat. Um, but look, see that. It's a, it's a nice looking car. Is that trunk really gonna open there? Yeah. So you can see we were at the beach yesterday with the dogs. There's some sand in here, but just pull this knee fold down. So when we go food shopping um, or anything of that sort, we had the blanket set up so the Bernice Mountain Dog Murphy could sit back here. Um, and have as much room as he needs. And it's not very high off the ground, so getting him in and out is very easy. You have a 
I forget how I do this. You gotta let go of Yeah. You have a charger? Yeah, a little is power it, is outlet. Is this how you do it? With that might be the power folding. Oh, oh second cool. row. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's stuck because of the car seat. Okay. Uh, but back here, then you have just more storage. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't even, I forgot about this totally for uh, grocery shopping and stuff. You can put cases of water underneath there or something. Yeah. Um, there's so much technology with these new vehicles <coughs> and with the trucks we love our old trucks we don't really want to buy a new truck anytime soon but with a car it, it could have it could have went either way but uh they have all sorts of different features where you can set up like when you blinker and if there's a car next to you it's going to go crazy and you can turn that sensor off which i really want to do because i could be going to change lanes there could be a car back here and it might pick it up and it'll go beep 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 beep, beep. it'll scare the crap out of you which I could see some older people, if they have that turned on, they might swerve left or swerve right, and it might not be the best thing. But uh, you can adjust like how high up you want the trunk. So when we got it, the dealer guy set the trunk to be right here. So my wife, who's five foot four, five foot five, sorry, Jenna, whatever height you are. Um, but she wanted it a little bit like here, so she can reach it and pull it down easier or hit the button. Up here, she can reach it, but it's on her tiptoes. So the dealer set it here, and the one day, I think I opened it, like two weeks into opening it. I went to turn and I got up and I cracked the side of my head open on, on this corner right here. And I was bleeding pretty good. I didn't have to get any stitches, but ever since that we reset it back up to here. But everything is, it's all electronic, which is good when it works and it absolutely stinks when it doesn't work because it's electronic and it's gonna take a lot of digging into to figure out what's wrong. But it's a brand new car. We have a five or six year warranty. I forget, it's all in the paperwork. Um, and they put Michelin tires on it. That's a good sign. From the factory, which yeah, is good. Yeah, that's a good sign. Uh, not the Chinese crap that we'll probably replace these with at some point. Yeah. Because Michelins are very expensive. Um, but I mean, you got a lot of room. Yeah. I mean, so look, this is an electronic tube. If move this forward. So if you kids can go in this way, people can go in this way. All you got to do is push it back into place. Um, what else? Front seat. Front, front seat on this side. Power seats, right? Mm -hmm. Heated and cooled seats. Yeah, that's nice. Um, what there. other vehicles are we getting as recommendations? Uh, a lot of people were saying the, the SUV version of the Toyota, was it the 4Runner or something? The Palisades. The Palisades. We looked into that. Um, Somebody else Mike said... Mike and NJ was the GMC Yukon, I think, or he was the Chevy Tahoe. I forget. One well, we the had two. the Chevy Tahoe. Well, we did. It was a cop car. Yeah. And then uh, somebody said uh, we got a couple expeditions, which we knew we were going to yeah, get them. Those are expensive. Yeah, those, those are, are like nice. Eighty grand plus. Yeah. Um, the Palisades was nice. It just seemed like this had a little bit more room, um, a little bit more options. But the uh, the GMC Yukon and the Chevy Tahoe were definitely on my list of things. Which is my wife Jenna didn't want something that big. Um, maybe down the line when there's more kids and more dogs and more friends of our kids and stuff, we'll get something bigger. But for now, this is perfect. This will last us through two kids and two dogs probably forever, this vehicle. If we have three or four kids, who knows? Um, we'll be need a bigger car if we're going to be going places with dogs and everything. Um, or just get rid of the dogs. <laughs> That's not an option. Um, so for now, this is perfect. This yeah. will last our family for the next five years easily. Then it's paid off. Then we can trade it in and get something else again, and we can just keep running it. Yeah. Um, but like, I like the GMC Yukon for the space. It's a lot bigger. But just our driveway is kind of small here. Um, and for turning this around is easy. The GMC Yukon, it's just, it's too big for Jenna to drive. Um, she see, she saw exactly what it was in person. She's like, oh no, I can't, I would be scared to death driving down the highway. It's just too big. She doesn't like driving the trucks unless she has to, but this is perfect. And I love this car. I absolutely love it. I want to letter it up and take it on estimates, but it's a personal vehicle. We're not using it for work at all, other than to the auto parts store and to run and get some parts. But we are going to use it to go to the P.O. box yeah. and get a check or two. And there's a couple like late um, that we do. We just do leaf cleanups for these people and uh, we should be getting their contracts back in the P.O. box. But we'll take this for a ride, right? Yeah, show the display. I want to see that yeah, display the screen light up. Screen. Um, or maybe I'll just go on the other side. Are we going now? Yeah, let's go. All right. This is a giant screen all the way across, um, but it's just very, very comfortable. The seats yeah. are just very comfortable. You got the storage in the middle here. Um, you got all your buttons. You can put the car in smart, sport, comfort, eco, or snow mode. Once in smart mode, 
it's just crazy all the things this car knows. Yeah. It's, it's almost like it's its own has its own brain, which it does in, a, in the computer. But it's almost it's just weird. Like you'll feel the steering wheel pull you back if you're if you're like maybe riding on the white line on the highway. Yeah. Um, or if you if there's a car if you're in a parking spot and you're about to put your car in reverse and there's a car backing up, it'll go beep 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 beep. There's a rear view mirror car backing out of its spot. Like it knows that. It's just crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it has a sunroof. I've never even opened this, honestly, because it's just been too cool out. We actually haven't needed it yet. Uh, I don't even know. It's probably has to be running, right? We'll start it up first. Yeah. Look at the display, Push though. start. So it's weird, right? All these old trucks that we're used to, they're all like mechanical gauges and crap like that. Which I like, because they don't uh, break. Yeah, or they're like, uh, well, I guess it's electronic, but the, the needles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. But look at that. I mean, that's like a TV screen. I can't wait to use this next summer. That closes it. I think if you hit it this way, it'll just open the back, right? Or do you have to hit this once? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, just get it to open? For another day. Yeah. Um, you got lights. Not sure what, what that is. What is that, like the SOS thing yeah. or whatever? Kia Connect. Uh, we got our CarPlay. Dual climate control too, that's nice. Yeah. And the heated seats, I'm heated gonna turn seats. them on. Yeah, me too. Um, it's just a nice car and yeah. it drives very nice. It's got all the steering wheel controls and all that. Like, yeah, it is funny because everything uh, we're used to is, I oh love, yeah, that I looks love good. my mother-in-law to death, but she always parks in the worst spots. If she's watching this, you can get a good laugh. She makes fun of yeah. all the stuff that we buy. She calls everything a tractor. Even yeah. if it's like a four-wheeler or a lawnmower. It's crazy though. Everything we we're used to is like, if it has cruise control, like that's a luxury. But <laughs> I mean, what I would honestly like is a 2024 F450 dually crew cab, diesel with a six five six year warranty, and a very 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 nice interior, like all completely done. But I don't want a fifteen hundred dollar a month payment. Yeah. I want to get in that truck and still go across the country, and it doesn't owe me anything yeah. at all. Except insurance and fuel, just like a new vehicle would, but the insurance would be more expensive on the new one. Yeah. Those trucks are turnkey and go. They don't leak a drop of anything. Yeah. So we're going to keep them till they literally explode, a tree falls on them, or they explode. Yeah. And I already said that. Yeah. Uh, but just it's just a comfortable car. Yeah. And neighbor up the street is where the excavator went to. Sold it to him. It's over there in the same spot. He hasn't used it yet. <laughs> um, what is this thing? How many miles per gallon does this thing get? I'm not sure. 2,400 miles it's got on it. Miles per gallon. See, the Toyota RAV4 was anywhere between like 30 and 40, and it was usually 40. I think this is somewhere in the, the high 20s. Okay. So it's still good That's enough. That's not bad. Yeah. For how big it is. It is big. You put a lot of people in yeah, the back. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four. I guess it seats seven people. Yeah. Um, it's a nice car. Yeah, it is I nice. like it. Yep. And my wife works from home. So she's not driving this all over the creation. I mean, food shopping and some errands and stuff, but like I've been driving this car a lot. Yeah. These are most of my miles. And then we've gone down to like Philly a few times, right? Yeah, we've taken this. We yeah. uh we did look at a couple properties. Yeah. And we took this. Um we've gone to Walmart, AutoZone, Napa, different auto parts stores. We take this because it's just it's comfortable. Yeah. Um it works. Does it have good power? Like if you step on it, does yeah, it we'll, go? Yeah, we'll step on it up here. It moves. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Oh, no, not good. We'll Look be at on this. The highway. Look at this truck. What does he got in the middle? That's a weird looking truck. That's an oil truck and a box all in one. All right. So we'll be going down like the highway or like the park, the Garden State Parkway, and we'll be going with the flow of traffic and of course no one follows the speed limits but we'll be going with the flow of traffic people will be passing us and i'll look down and this will say double eights we'll be going 88 miles an hour and you don't even feel it it just rides so nice yeah so the guy that passed me was probably doing like 110 but uh yeah that's the gmc yukon right there it was just too big for my wife i would totally take that car any day but uh i'm very happy here and what's the deal with this? Is this just all-wheel drive, or do you have to lock it in four? No, it's it's all-wheel drive. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it has a differential locker, though. 
right? That's what it says. Uh, I I'm guess. not sure, but... They said from the factory, of course we can make anything work with the mechanical skills that we have. We could put a tow hitch on it and everything, but supposedly it's already plumbed for the wiring. You just have to have a connector to go into it, but they could hook up a, a tow package in the back. Um, in the next few years, we would love to get a boat. Cool. As right now our one kid, as she grows up, and however many more kids we have, and then Jim gets married and have kids, it would be awesome to get a boat and go enjoy the Saturdays and the Sundays. Look at that. That's over here now. That's that truck that we saw. Huh. That, that truck we showed in one of our videos. That, somebody must have bought it. That's but. been for sale for like eight months. Yeah. Get a, a blacked out, like really nice boat. Not being greedy or anything, but we, we're looking at pontoon boats and they're not very expensive and they seat like 10 to 12 people. Yeah. And you can still go tubing and go fishing and everything, but we could tow it with this car. Yeah. With all the people in here versus taking a 99 F250 with dirt all over it to the... It was yeah. just a side note when we were watching the pontoon boats a couple weeks ago and looking up some of the values. So you get a, like a brand new boat for 25 grand. It's really not that expensive um, to enjoy your Fridays through Sundays on, out on the lake for yeah. a good five months out of the year. We got uh, the heated seats are kicking in really good mm -hmm. now. They're hot. The it's heated good. seats, but when you're in the summertime and you've got the cool seats, the cool seats on, because we bought this in August, so we had the heat waves of September still. Put the heated seats on. If you don't know what that feels like, it almost feels like you peed your pants and it went up your back. <laughs> and you're, or someone put a hose down your shirt. It's kind of weird, but it, it feels good. Like yeah. it's, it's cooling if you come from the outside where it's like 90 degrees. Yeah. Um, no, it's a good ride too. There's not, the suspension is good. Mm -hmm. It's bumpy up here. It's all hills and stuff. The and gold truck, we'd be hitting our head on the yeah. roof. Yeah. And the, it, the township doesn't do the best job, I'll say. They, they do quick patches. They don't repave the whole thing. Mm -hmm around here at least none of them do uh but no, no towns do that anymore yeah they yeah. used to but i mean the taxes keep going up but the roads keep getting crappier yeah all right we're gonna step on it up here on the highway see what this thing can do the post office is closed because it's columbus day yeah uh, i wish the p.o box was uh 24 7 access but this one is not it stinks and this thing does move that's foot to the floor And then a, uh, a large uh, Diet Coke and a large Coke. Okay. And that's it. Is that going to be good on the screen? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. $29 and two cents. You know what's good about this car? You is got that two you, cents, Jim? Uh, I don't. You don't have to turn this thing off in the drive-thru, though. Mm-hmm. You can just... We should just not go to the drive-thru because I'm starting to get fat. Yeah. Here, look in here for two cents on the top. I got it. Hello. 3902. Yep. So basically overall, we just clicked over to 2,500 miles. Uh, we just put on, I don't know, 25, 30 miles in that trip. Looked at a couple trucks, but it's just comfortable. It's really, really, really comfortable, luxur luxurious, um, and it's just sharp looking. It's a nice car. There's not much left to say. It's got the sunroof uh, for the summertime, uh, maybe the little bit warmer fall days. You can use the sunroof. Um, it is a little bit dirty right now, but uh, it's just a nice, sharp-looking family car. And uh, it's going to work and fit our needs perfectly for our family. And uh, would highly recommend looking into it if you're looking into a car with three rows with a, bu a bucket seats in the center row. Uh, I would definitely check out the Kia Telluride. But uh, we have nothing but good things to say about it so far. Once again, we've only had it for two or three months and nothing's happened, of course, because it's brand new. But uh, we'll see what happens if we have a couple little things go wrong. We'll make some update videos along the way. But as it sits here right now, we really, we really, really like it. So that's all I have to say about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, and thanks uh, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And uh, check us out in the next video.